as a whole, as what we were doing, the fact that we weren't building this thing, we were trying to find out how it was made, we were back engineering it. When I first got to look inside the craft, the, the, all I can say it's an ominous feeling. You walk in there and uh, it's, it feels as if you shouldn't be there, I know that sounds kind of corny, but it's a real ominous feeling, it's not an exciting feeling, uh, it brings up a whole lot of questions in your mind. I only witnessed one test flight up close, officially. Uh, I'm glad I was in, just inside the hangar. The craft lifted off the ground. Uh, virtually noiseless, other than a small corona discharge on the bottom of the craft, indicating the presence of high voltage. Uh, that dissipated at about 30 feet, and it stood there completely silently. And moved over to the left and to the right, and sat back down. That was the entire uh, test. This was quite quite a scientific feat to lift something completely silently, under control, and uh, you know, perform a movement like that. From deep inside the underground test facility, Bazaar learned how these craft operate, 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 operate. Thank you. 